I see solidarity as, and this is coming from someone who, um, again, benefits from all the privilege that our society can give one person as a, as a white male, and I've, I've been um, privileged to, to work in uh, technology and banking and, and make money that's allowed me a comfortable lifestyle. What I think solidarity calls me into is um, not just caring about issues in the abstract and not just um, volunteering here on the holidays as much as that's important, but it's actually a, a lifelong and committed effort towards walking with people towards their own path of liberation. And you're doing whatever I can, using what, all the resources that I have, um, to care for people and help people along that path. So solidarity means actually a commitment to walking alongside people and actually giving up whatever power and privilege I have so that um, they have a life of, of uh, dignity and respect um, and, and a, feel, uh, a feeling like they belong to the community because they're a part of the community. So it's a commitment towards that end on my part that solidarity is. encourage all volunteers, the volunteers that I see on Saturday, to come and volunteer at Sacred Heart and to also reach out to the community to be an advocate for the customers that you're trying to serve doing food or clothing preparation, but to go beyond that and to also to reach out to the community to try to make it a better place for them and for you. I have been helping with the cost committee and door knocking to spread awareness about renters' rights, also getting uh, rapid response training um, to help and be an ally for communities that are affected by um, ICE and deportation threats. But um, I feel like Sacred Heart, being able to provide all of these services and being able to recognize them as intersecting constantly um, is really beneficial in creating that home here in San Jose and that community and seeing that people from so many different diverse communities have a lot of differences that are meant to be celebrated and as well as a lot of um, similarities that we can bond with <laughs> or bond over. The first thing that we can do to make sure that we're in solidarity is to open up our eyes to the reality of and the experience of families that are that are in this community, that are part of the fabric of this community. When we look the other way and say, oh, these issues are just so overwhelming and so, you know, and, and I can do nothing about them. That is what leads to that sense of isolation, that sense that we don't have the ability, the capacity to be able to make a difference. And we know that that's not true. We know that we can fight for policy change. We know that we can bring in resources. We know that we can fight for protections for people. And we know that we need to change that dialogue and not just look at these as being immutable forces, but really talk about the kind of community that we want to live in, that we want our, we want to be able to raise our children in, the kind of community that, that uplifts people and shares prosperity and shares opportunity. That's what solidarity means, and that means putting ourselves on the line, coming, supporting, volunteering, donating on the one hand, and on the other hand, being able to be in connection with other people, learn their stories, go, um, go stand with them as we are fighting for, for significant policy change at a local, regional, and statewide level to make sure that everyone can share in the prosperity that, that this valley um, promises.